Hey guys, Mr. Baldwin back here again. We're talking about the skeletal system again today. So, at the end of this PowerPoint, you should be able to identify the five types of joints that are found in the body. You're going to be able to explain how bones and muscles, they work together to produce movement in our body. So it makes it so I can move my head around, my hands around, my feet around. And you're going to describe the problems of the skeletal system, okay? Nothing's perfect, just like our bones, nothing's perfect. We get some issues with them. All right, let's jump into it. Five types of joints. First, we've got a ball and socket, okay? Think of a ball. It's a nice round thing. And a socket is what the ball fits into, okay? So our shoulder has actually got this nice little ball at the end of it, and it fits right into our shoulder blade, okay? Right into our, not into our shoulder blade, it fits right into our socket that keeps that ball in, okay? So it makes it so we can move that round egg end all around, and we can move it just about in any direction. Okay, but we can't get it like totally behind us or else you'd separate your shoulder. And if actually you separate that shoulder, what you're doing is you're popping that socket out. So it's like you're taking that ball, and you're popping it out. Okay. Next one we got, it's a hinge joint. Okay, it moves in one direction. My favorite boy band. Uh moves in one direction, just like a door. Okay? So like one example that we always give a lot is the elbow. So if you guys take a look. This is kind of how your elbow moves, okay? It moves with one direction. I can't get it to move all around in different directions. It's only going to open and close, just like a door does. Okay, then we get a pivot joint, okay? It's basically one bone that rests on top of another bone, okay? It gives you pretty free movement, okay? So my neck is an example of one of them, okay? I can move my head around in all kinds of free movement because it's just sitting on top of my neck, okay? Wrist is another one. Okay, I can move my wrist all around because the wrist, or the hand, is basically just sitting on top of my arm. Okay, so I can move it all around. I can pivot it any which way I want. Ankle is another one. You can move your foot all around in different directions. Next one we got this fixed immovable. Okay, the joint doesn't really even move. So in our skull, it may feel like it's one solid piece, but there's actually a couple different parts to it. Okay? And all these different parts, they actually don't move. Okay? It's weird because it's a joint where you usually connect two bones and you'd think they would move. But with our skull, it doesn't really move. I mean, imagine if your skull could like bend and move and change all sorts of directions. You'd be busting your skull around. You'd be concussing yourself left and right. It wouldn't be too good. Last type. Should be last type. One, two, three. We might have another one. Lost track. Another type is the gliding joint. Okay, the bones, they slip over each other with a free-flowing movement. So on your knuckles, okay, your knuckles are fairly free-flowing, okay? It's really similar to that pivot one that we saw before, but this one you can kind of get it in different directions, okay? All your knuckles, you can start to get in different directions, and you can kind of move those all together. All right, so next we're going to talk about the ligaments. Okay, ligaments, they connect the bones to bones, Okay, so if you guys can see in different parts of your body, we've got this cartilage in between. Okay, remember, cartilage is just kind of that lubrication that helps our joints move around. But the tendons, they kind of tie it all together. So I've got these tendons that are connecting my kneecap right here down to like my shin bone, okay, my tibia and my fibula here. And I've got all these ligaments, like your collateral ligament. If you guys ever hear of like an athlete who tears his ACL or his MCL, those are the types of the collateral ligaments. It's the anterior collateral ligament and I think the medial collateral ligament. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. Okay. Next thing we have is the tendon. The tendon simply attaches muscles to bones. Okay. Now when we deal with muscles, muscles are what helps us move the bones. Okay. Muscles contract and they actually pull the bones in different directions. Okay, so right now my bicep is pulling my upper or my lower arm, my uh, arm itself, over to my upper arm. And now when I pull it, see what I'm doing is I'm pulling this side with my triceps. Okay, so their muscles always work in conjunction with each other and they help us move the bones through our tendons. They attach those muscles to bones. Okay, and then we get this other thing called cartilage. Okay. It's a cushion between bones at the joint, and it protects the bones. Also, another thing that they do is they give us these little flexible parts of our body that we're able to move around without really tearing them too bad or bending and breaking bones and stuff. 
okay? So like our nose has a whole bunch of cartilage, okay? It protects the bone in the middle there. Same thing with our ear. Our ear is this flexible cartilage that we can use. So a lot of people will say if they have their ears pierced, they either get their lobes pierced or they get the cartilage pierced. That's this top flexible part of the ear. Okay, and we also have cartilage in between our joints. And it's super slippery. It's really cool. It's slipperier than ice, and it helps lubricate our joints. When you get old, sometimes you get arthritis. A lot of times it's because you're losing this cartilage in here. And you guys can see we got the ligaments that are right up in here. Here's a ligament right here connecting bones to bones. Okay, now some problems of the skeletal system. Anybody ever a broken bone? It might look something like this. Here's a fracture. Basically, you're just breaking it. You can have a dislocation where your joint pops out. Okay, so you can see this is that ball. The socket's right in here, and the ball's out of the socket. You can also have a sprain where you get a little bit of swelling in the joint. Okay, this guy's got a little bit of bruising here, bruising here. His foot's nice and swollen. A lot of times, this happens if you twist something too much or if you get like a nasty uh, collision. And earlier we talked about arthritis. It says it's inflamed, inflamed and stiff joints. Okay, so what actually happens is the joints swell up a little bit and they get bigger. That's what it means by inflamed, is it starts to swell up. Okay, and the joints can be stiff. It's tough to work it. My grandma has arthritis and uh, she has a little, she can't open jars anymore because her knuckles, they just can't take that pressure anymore because her joints are really stiff. So she has a little machine that helps her open up jars. Another thing called scoliosis. Okay, a lot of times in your PE class they check you for scoliosis, and it's to see if you've got a curvature of the spine. Okay, so our normal spine has all our vertebrae stacked up nice in a little pile here. And if you look at scoliosis spine, it has this curve in it, and it keeps you from standing up straight. Sometimes you kind of hunch over, or you have a little bit of a hunchback in the back. It's not an actual hunchback, but it's a little bit of bending in the spine that you have. Okay. And they always check for this when you're in PE class when you're younger, because if you take care of it when you're younger, it's not as big of a deal. Last one we got here is osteoporosis. Okay, here's that prefix we've seen again, osteo. That has to do with the bones. Okay, so when you have osteoporosis, you've got brittle bones. Bones aren't solid; they're made up of this big web, kind of a matrix of bone material, bone tissue. And if you see in the osteoporosis one, it's not as big of a network. Okay, the matrix matrix isn't as thick and isn't as intricate or complex or full as the rest of it. Okay, so those are our three topics. We talked about three or the five types of joints. We talked about how bones move. We talked about the problems of the skeletal system. So hopefully this is enough to get you guys through the material. If you have any questions, post them down at the comments section. Okay, good luck guys, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.